Okay, so today we've got a hair dish. Uh, it's hair with red cabbage. So, hair. Um, this is actually one of the dishes on the, uh, on the restaurant menu. So, firstly, I oh know it's cute, isn't it? We've got to get the, um, we've got to get the fur off. Uh, this is how we buy our hairs. Uh, obviously, it's a good, good indication about how fresh they are. Uh, so, we just go in through, through by, the, by the neck and we start tearing the fur down off the backbone. And as you can see, it does actually come away quite cleanly. Uh, you've got the shoulders here. Um, the shoulders can come off quite easily. Quite a lean animal, isn't it? Oh, very lean. There's no fat whatsoever. Um, people, pe people liken it to, uh, to, to like venison. So out come all the bits and pieces. You've got the livers, the hearts. Okay, so these loins, you go down there and remove all, all the sinew. Then what we do is take the loins, season them up, and, uh, and then we're going to, today we're going to cook them in a water bath. So here they are, and they pop in like that. Right, so this is for the red cabbage puree. Now, we follow, we follow the standard, standard traditional recipe. You basically put the red cabbage into a bowl, and you salt it overnight. Okay, so we've got some uh, red wine and uh, some cider and some port on the stove. I say we would marinate this overnight, um, and then it would go into a liquor go into a liquor on the stove. We'd also have like a spicy bouquet garni. So we're looking at things like junipers, uh, cinnamon, st cinnamon sticks, got some star anise. Uh, here's some uh, green cardamom pods. So they go into the, uh, they, they go into the marinade. That marinades overnight. And then that goes into a pan and you cook it just like a normal red cabbage. So the hair bones are roasted in the oven. And then they go into the uh, they go into the, the sauce, and then that sauce reduces down. You uh, you heat up you, you heat up a liquor, and it's 100 grams of liquor to 0 0.9 0 0.9 of gallon gum. Here we've got 500 grams of uh, 500 grams of liquor, so we weigh the right amount of gallon gum there. And then in that goes. We've got some. Um, uh, we're making a. Uh, we're making a spice bread here. Uh, on the spice bread, we've got a mixture of uh, uh, sugar and different flours: rye flour, plain flour, uh, baking powder, mixed spice. And then uh, into it, we add some ginger. And then we've got some uh, milk and egg, basically. So it all goes into a bowl. What we do is we bake this as a. We bake this more or less as a cake. Uh, it goes through the oven. Nice wet mix goes through the oven, bakes the cake, and then we uh, and then we'll slice it really, really thinly. So the uh, the puree here is setting over ice at the moment, and what we'll do is we'll take uh, we'll take the one we've already set, and as you can see, it is it literally is a block. So we take it and we cut it into pieces, and then that can go straight into the uh, straight into the thermo mix. Okay, so we'll get that blending up fully. Um, so now, as you can see, that's made a really, really nice, shiny, glossy puree in there. We've got red cabbage puree. On goes the hair. Okay, so there goes the broccoli. This really nice spiced bread just gives a bit of depth to the dish. And then we'll finish it with just a little bit of the hair sauce. Re reduce down and uh, then we just sauce it around the front. So there we have it. Hair, haggis red cabbage.